Okay, we're going to go over this hiking breakfast again, and uh, I've had several people ask me how I make it, where I get the materials, what materials I use, etc. Um, so I start out with, I buy from Amazon Prime um, a hundred of these bulk one quart uh, food saver bags. Um, I've, this makes the second order of them that I've had. They last a long time. Because what I can do is I can fold this in half and cut it get everything lined up here fold it in half and cut it with scissors on the fold Now I have two halves. I can take the one that has the two open ends and reseal the factory edge. I always double seal the edges when I make these meals. And then I have a couple that are laying here that I've already been working on. These are the ones that need the edge sealed. I'll just go ahead and do that really quick. That way I can go ahead and get them used up. So basically what I'm getting at is that your purchase of 200 or purchase of 100 one quart vacuum seal bags makes a total of 200 bags suitable for making this breakfast. It's also the same thing that I do with the other meals, the freeze-dried meals that I do. Um, I cut the bags in half and that, that's enough room for those two. You do the double seal just in case that one would happen to get damaged on the trail. You have a a secondary seal I'm sure that most people that use vacuum sealers on a regular basis have always gotten paranoid and double sealed theirs anyways probably without even thinking about it One seal is good, two seals are better. I've got some stats here that I'm going to go over in a minute too as soon as I get these bags done. And you'll still end up by the time that you package these up and get them sealed, there will still be just a little bit that you'll have to trim off. Alright, so now I've got one, two, three, four. I have five bags ready to go. And to go over some quick stats, um, this is one that I've already packaged up. I put on there breakfast in September 2016, that's when I made it. I do that in case I have any that are left over, um, put the date on them. So that way I know approximately when I sealed it up um, for some foods. That matters only if you go hiking infrequently and I generally go at least one to two, sometimes three weekends a month year round. They get ate up pretty quick if I do have extras. 
But one of these is 830 calories, 100 grams of carbs, 49 grams of protein. And that is if you use the exact same brands of the items that I use in the exact same measurements. So if you use a different non-fat dry milk, I use Great Value brand available from Walmart. My chocolate protein, I use Body Fortress, again from Walmart. Quaker Oats are the quick one minute Quaker Oats brand. Um, I use the Carnation Breakfast Essentials in the chocolate milk. And then I use Betty Crocker Supreme Brownie Mix. And it's also Ultimate Fudge with the Hershey's. Obviously, I'm not using the Hershey's. I also at times will use a Betty Crocker Supreme Walnut Brownie Mix and then not use the walnuts. Um, sometimes I'll use the walnuts. So you just, I just never know. I try to vary it. Um, the way that this is made as far as weight, I have a scale, a kitchen scale, measures in grams and ounces. I do the weight in grams. Um, I put the measuring cup on it. I've already got 40 grams of... Uh, I'll have to re-zero it. Let me just go ahead and dump that in there. I know that's 40 grams. We've already pre-measured it. Kind of got ahead of myself for this video. So you put the measuring cup on it with the scale off when you turn it on. That calibrates the scale at zero, including the weight of the measuring cup. I'm sure most people that cook know this or that use these scales quite a bit. Now if I dump this back in there, it should come out 40 grams, assuming I don't spill any. And we are at 40 grams. I'd show you, but then I'm going to mess up my camera angle. So, it uses 40 grams of oatmeal, 36 grams of the Carnation Breakfast Essentials, 32 grams of the Fudge Brownie Mix, 23 grams of the powdered milk, 50 grams of the weed protein. And basically you just weigh them out, add them to one of the bags. And I kind of do this in an order, I mean not doesn't have to be exact but I kind of do everything I just leave so that way I know I don't miss something so I know that I need 36 grams of this just measure it out if I go a gram over or a gram under I don't worry so much about it being exact I just want it to be close And right there is actually 36. Dump it in. The order you actually put this in there doesn't matter. This is just what I've been doing since I started these. And I've already done six or seven. This one's a 32. This brownie mix by volume weighs a lot more than the other one. There's 32 grams of that one. I know that I've already got my oatmeal in there, so I skipped that one. Sometimes on the protein, I don't do a full scoop. I get pretty close to a scoop in each one. It's mostly just plus doing this video so that I'm not spilling stuff all over the table. On the powdered milk, I need 23 grams, 23 grams. grams of powdered milk
And then I usually just take it, move it back and forth to kind of get it all to settle down. And there's basically, you know, it's it's half full, roughly, kind of thick, half full. Then we move over to the vacuum sealer. On these, I usually put it just, just um, where there's just a little bit of space between the top of the mix and the edge of the sealer. You can do this however you want. I try to make these breakfast bags just a little bit bigger um, so that that way when I add the water, because this turns out being almost a paste mix when you have it for breakfast. It's not like chewy granola bar consistency, but it's also not like oatmeal consistency either. It's kind of somewhere in between. Um, so I leave a little extra room for the extra water where the dinners and lunches that I do, the freeze-dried meals, I will put the freeze-dried food right up against the vacuum sealer. And I'll kind of show you what I mean here. And you can kind of see near the top, so there is some space between the seal here and the start of the mix is down here. So there's maybe an inch, about an inch difference there. And unlike, let me grab one of these. So when I do the dinners, there's a lot less a lot less space between the seal it's maybe a half an inch so you do want just a little bit more water in these than the dinners um, once that's done I take a black permanent marker I put what it is on here then I put the month and the year And that is done. So I figured someone was going to ask me and I went ahead and wrote down and I weighed a couple of these bags, kind of took an average. So five or six bags, I took and weighed each one individually, then I averaged that. The average weight with the bag and all of the ingredients comes out to about 178 grams total weight with the bag. Um, another thing you could do too, I've had several people ask me about this. Like me, when I'm getting ready to do this 21-day hike, this breakfast can get a little uh, routine. So after a few days, you they they when you first try this, it's actually really really good, especially if you try it after you've already spent a day hiking, um, because your body's burn a lot of calories. There's it's got a, a sugary sweet taste to it plus the chocolate taste, plus the oatmeal, it is actually really good. Um, but if you continue to eat this every morning after a number of days, you're going to find that it doesn't seem like it tastes as good as it did the first day. Um, and there's ways that you can vary the taste of it. And I've done all three. Um, I even have some of the vanilla protein and the peanut butter dry peanut butter mix but what I do to vary the taste you can either substitute vanilla protein for the chocolate um, you could substitute this is also available in a vanilla uh, drink and then you can also use powdered peanut butter now I'll tell you something else you could do 
the bad thing about that is you're always going to have the chocolate of your chocolate fudge brownie. I've not really found a way to get around that. They don't make a white fudge brownie mix that I've ever seen in a store. But if they did, then you can have a vanilla breakfast and a chocolate. So you can never really get away from the chocolate brownie mix. Um, with that being said, they also make protein and strawberry. And they make this drink in a strawberry. Um, if you wanted to exclude the, br the fudge brownie mix and just use the two strawberries, it actually tastes really good. But chocolate strawberry also is really good. So there are three options of ways you can make this breakfast. It's going to change the calorie count and the carbs and the proteins and all that stuff. But you can vary this enough. If you add the chocolate peanut butter to this existing mix, it kind of almost tastes like Reese's uh, peanut butter cups or Reese's pieces because you have so much chocolate and the chocolate peanut butter mixed together with the uh, oatmeal. It's actually really good. Um, the reason why that I add the... So let me go over the reasons for the ingredients that I chose. The reason why I use the milk is because of the additional vitamin A and vitamin D. Now if you're out hiking in the sun there is a pretty good chance you're going to have enough vitamin D because that's what the sun does. The sun synthesizes vitamin D when it hits the skin and generally uh, you should spend at least an hour outdoors in the sun every day year-round for that to occur. As long as you do that your body has provided probably enough vitamin D for the day. People that spend a lot of time indoors um, will have a vitamin D deficiency and a lot of times doctors will prescribe them a prescription vitamin D. The other thing is too about vitamin D is the FDA has recommended a certain amount of vitamin D that doctors have been saying for many years is not sufficient. So what you see is I think the FDA recommended daily allowance is like 600 milligrams of vitamin D. However, doctors usually prescribe in the area of 5,000 to 10,000. Uh, actually, uh, it's not it's not in milligrams. Vitamin D is in some other amount. I I can't remember what the what the amount is. It's not milligrams. But what I'm getting at is. The amount that the FDA recommends that you have every day is about um, many, many hundred times percent lower than what it really should be or what doctors prescribe. So if the FDA recommends 600 and doctors are telling you you should have between 5,000 and 10,000, there you go. Um, so again, supplement vitamin D and A with the milk plus a few calories. Uh, the Quaker Oats obviously has some protein and calories in it, plus the fiber. The protein is for the protein. The fudge brownie mix is for the taste and the carbs. And the carnation mix is for the proteins and all the vitamins and calcium uh, that it has, along with the taste. So, I chose some things for the nutritional value. I chose other things for the taste. Uh, mostly for taste is the fudge brownie mix. Mostly for vitamins and essential nutrients, this. Protein, mostly for the fiber and carbs, mostly for vitamins A and D. And there you pretty much have it. So uh, any questions about this or if you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to comment. Don't forget to like, give it that thumbs up, share this, and Hiking groups, hiking forums, wherever you want. I'll go ahead and put the nutritional value up also. And uh, that's about it that I can think of. Thanks for watching.